Hello and good morning. This is another quick video about technology. <laughs> this is Jay here. So this morning, Microsoft, uh, you know, get, sent me the uh, invite for their new designer uh, technology. You know, Microsoft has been going deep into um, AI for quite some time now. And I've, I'm as a Microsoft fan, I'm using all their products and stuff like that. For, for example, if I were to go to, you know, Bing.com, I see that there are these apps. Uh, for example, you have the AI, like I can ask the AI, you know, tell me a joke and the AI will, this is the same chat, PD, chat GPD technology, which is integrated into Bing. So yeah, there you go, it's Bing you know, uh, using the chat GPD technology. So what do you call a fish that wears a bow tie? So fish <laughs> Yeah, I, I like that. And and of course, you know, it also has this thing like compose. Uh, that's another thing which I use sometimes, like, you know, like I want a um, email asking about health, you know, and I want this to be a funny and I want this to be a simple paragraph, you know, like an email and I want this to be a short email. There you go. So I want, let's say I'm asking a friend about his health and then I want it to be funny. So there you go. So I can use the Bing Compose and then it'll write the email that hopefully will be funny. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like a dark, it's like a dark humor stuff, you know, like, like look at what it is saying. Um, it says, uh, let me see if I can make this bigger. No, I can't make it bigger, I'm sorry. It, uh, it's, okay, so it says, hey, how are you feeling? Hi there, I hope this email finds you in good health and good spirits. I'm writing to check in on you and see how you are doing. Are you still coughing up blood? <laughs> Did the doctor say anything about the mysterious rash on your face? Have you managed to get rid of the lice infestation in your hair? I'm sorry to hear that you've been going through so much lately. It must be hard to deal with all these health issues at once. I hope you're taking good care of yourself and getting enough rest and so on and so forth. You're concerned, pal, things. So it's funny, you know, it's funny. It's funny, but you know, I mean, that's the kind of stuff I would write to a friend anyway. And that's the kind of email I would expect someone to write to me because no matter how bad and terrible things are, I always like my, my emails and things. Uh, on the funnier side, even dark humor is okay with me. So that's another thing I've been exploring. I've been using a lot of AI products from Microsoft and Bing, and of course, I'm already a big fan of GitHub Copilot and stuff like that. And anyway, coming back to Microsoft Designer, so this kind of reminds me of Canva, right? I mean, look at this. Look, I, I use Canva. I, you know, I use Canva for all my social media things. I even pay for the pro subscription. So you can see here that uh, I use um, Canva. So you can see, right? I mean, this designer thing looks like Canva. And I'm not surprised that Microsoft is, you know, is also in the designer business because, look, I like Canva. I mean, I, I'm also an Office 365 subscriber, so I use Office products as well. But I remember last year I was, I was a paid subscriber to Photoshop. And Adobe also obviously is in the social media game, but somehow I found that for the kind of things I wanted to do, specifically social media, Adobe was too much. You know, it was too much of money. And then I figured, um, I mean, I do a little bit of light amount of photography. I do a light amount of video editing, I do a light amount of poster design and stuff like that. And earlier I, f I figured, okay, I'm gonna use Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that. But, but then it occurred to me, I don't need that much power. And also there is the learning cycle, you know, learning Adobe Photoshop took me a lot of time. Now I did learn eventually. I watched a lot of tutorials, I, I watched a lot of stuff, but eventually I figured, you know what, I was getting too expensive and too much of learning skill and learning curve. And then it occurred to me, you know, I heard about this Canva company, which is like making all the news and, you know, it's like a big corporation now and all that. I was like, okay, let me give it a try. And then within a few days, I was, I, I went through the pro trial and then very soon I was, I was just using it. I was just using it nonstop. You know, you can see that I made a lot of things here. I made a lot of things here. Uh, you videos, designs, you know, videos, images, designs. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm using it pretty much every day for all my social media things. So 
the first impression I get with the designer is it kind of looks it kind of looks like Canva, right? So look at this templates and stuff like that, right? So let me go ahead. Now I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm a coding tutor, so let me see. I wanna do like, um, what can I do here? So I want to Earth Day, and I, I like something, ah, there you go. Let's take this one, right? Now what can I do with it? Now where does the AI come for me? Okay, all right, say search for fonts. I'm not, st I'm still not seeing exactly where AI is supposed to jump in. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe this is just about using a designer, so I don't think there's any AI stuff going on here. I mean, I'm just opening it right now. I'm making the record uh, recording live immediately after getting the invite. I have no idea, I've never used this before, so. It looks like this is just gonna be, there's no, I don't see any AI stuff here, so maybe I can. Yeah, it looks exactly like Canva. I mean, look at this, look at this. See, uh, recently I made a, an you know, Instagram post. Yeah, so let me open this one. Uh, I made a, yeah, thumbnail. So there it is, right? Do you see that? Right, do you see that? Like if I check this image, I can go to edit photo and I'll get effects. Do you see that? Like effects, filters, you know, remove background. Yeah, there it is. Tools, you can see that right side by side. It's literally, uh, you know, the exact same thing. So that's what designer is. So designer is essentially a replacement or an alternative to Canva. I'm yet to see any AI stuff going on here. So, right. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So this is essentially a Canva thing from Microsoft, but it, it, it has some AI features, but so far I'm not seeing any AI stuff yet, but I think I'll discover it in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So it's like a Canva thing. Okay, okay, all right. So let me try one of these features. So let me go here, new design. Okay, fine. It's all browser based. I don't see an option to download this. Uh, let me see new features, start your content design ideas when you need them. Ooh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Post on social media. Okay, okay, all right, new features, okay. Uh, manage account, oh, that's fine. Okay, I don't see a desktop app or something. So start with a, oh, oh, this is the AI part. Okay, so I'm gonna say an Instagram post about motivating students to study harder. I'm a coding tutor, so this is what I want. So let me go ahead and, all right, oh, okay. It's doing something, it's doing something. Ooh, oh, okay. Ah, now I'm beginning to understand. Let me see, can I get Indian kids? because I'm tutoring both international students and Indian students, I'm not getting Indian kids. Oh, I'm not getting that. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna get that. This lady looks slightly Indian, so maybe, I, let me do this size, square, landscape, portrait. So I'm gonna stick with square. Oh, I, th I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I'm getting the part of it. This is the AI part. Normally I would have to sit and and do this. Oh, okay. Wow, oh, oh, right, 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 right. And there are variations that I can do. Okay, opacity, let me, uh, let me make her a little bit brighter, right? There you go. Now I could change this here, okay, I can make it. Uh, there's no way to edit the text, is it? Can I change that to this? For a second there, I thought it changed. Ah, there it is. Ah, okay, it's loading now, it's loading. Still pretty slow, still pretty slow, I think. 
how do I make this not be just an outline? How do I make this um, font? No, no, hold on, visuals. It Look, it seems to fill up. Oh, okay, it is filling up. I'm still not able to fill it up. I don't know how or why. Hmm. I'm not able to fill it up. Motivating Indian students. So, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, all right. I don't want to make it so obvious. I'm just gonna say, you know, students. Uh, where do I edit that? Oh, I can edit it right away. Motivating students. Okay, cool. So now this one, I'm gonna change this from black to, okay, good, good. I think I'm gonna put this here, and what I want to do is, let me see if I, oh, duplicate, oh, okay, good, 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 good. So what I want to do is I want to take this text, because I don't know how to, Hold on, hold on, okay. So I want to make this like this, study harder. Yeah, I don't want this anymore. So I'll just delete this. Oh, what? What happened to the other thing? I, I thought, oh, oh. Getting a little confused with this. Position, bring to front. It seems to go away. So there is some buggy behavior, I guess. Right? I still don't know how to change the text or stuff like that. I guess this is why it's still a beta, you know, like it's it's still not really. Okay, it, it's remaining there as it is. Okay, study harder. Okay, all right. Cool, okay, all right, so there you go. I made this, okay, so AI put this, all this stuff here, so I can kind of, let me change the color. Oh, there it is, the color option is here. I'm gonna go with, mm, photo colors, yeah, uh, let me match it with the brown guy, right? The brown guy here, break a leg, okay, there we go. Maybe I should make it white, okay, there we go. Uh, there's there's an eye left over there, so I want to. Uh, okay, so let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. So now I have this ready. Okay. So I'm gonna download this. Okay, I'm gonna download this PNG recommended. So you, you know, if the same thing here, like you can see here that on Canva we do exactly the same thing. So I go here, I do my stuff, and then I click on share, and I can do this. Right, if I was gonna do something similar, say an Instagram post, so I'll go to home and then I can go to templates, I'll go to social media, Instagram post, and I'll get a lot of ready-made templates. Right, so for example, um, yeah, let's say I want to, so there are a lot of templates here. So I can just say students, and I'll probably get a lot of student templates. There we go. And what I want is, I want it to be an Instagram post. There we go. Cool, it's all square, right? And I want to pick something from here. Um, maybe anything from India. Uh, category, social media, Instagram post. Okay, there we go. I only see, I mostly see festival stuff the moment I select India. I don't see anything for students. I don't understand. Um, no people, no, no, no. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why it only says festival stuff the moment I say India, I don't understand. Um, I don't get it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna remove, okay, all right, I'm just gonna remove. Okay, that was a little confusing for me. Um, right, okay. So I can say here, 
Right, so I, I guess I'm not going to put the word India over there, so I can, I'm just going to stick to India students, students, and then I'll say, uh, I could do this, there we go, and then I'll, I'll, I'll say something like this, right, and here what I could do is I could say the same stuff which I was trying to say in designer, so I wanted to say study harder, so I'll get that here, study harder, there you go. And then I want to say break a leg. I want to say break a leg, okay. And then I want to say motivating students and I want to say motivating students. Yeah, there we go. So there's a different uh, uh, female here, you know. So there you go, that's fine. I don't want to put any website, so I'm going to delete this whole thing. That's all right. And I do want to put my logo here. So let me get my logo. So if I go to, let me just check it here. So if I say, all right, okay. So I, I need um, a logo. I have my logo here. So I'm gonna go to, I have a QR code that I use. So I'm gonna put my logo here. So I can put my logo like this. Right, that's my QR code, so it's ready. So I have a, a motivating students break a leg, study harder. This is made with Canva. So I can go back to this one and I will upload my own images and I'm gonna go to downloads and upload the QR code. Let me see if that shows up. Yeah, it has shown up. Okay, that's fine. It's uploading. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Oh, it's, it's here. Okay, just like Canva, it's come here. So I can, I can make this like this. I'll put it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think that's, that's all set. Uh, now I will go back to Canva as well, and I'm gonna click on share, and I get the option to download. So I will download this. And I guess that will end up on the downloads folder. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna say, this is from Canva. And with my designer, I'm going to say download. Uh, I get something similar, you know, it's amazing how similar this looks to Canva. Um, and this is also, I think it's going to download. So there you go, I have uh, let me open them side by side. So I'm gonna open one with Irfan View. I'm gonna open the another one with Photos app. You know, two different apps, so I can put them side by side. So there it is. You know, there it is. So I have two Instagram posts. One on the left side. Oh, it even puts the logo created with Designer. Now that is a problem, isn't it? Let me see if there's an option to get rid of that. Is there a way I can avoid it from? Putting uh, without, is there a setting or something? Is there an option? I don't think so. I don't think there is an option here. Let me see, account info and settings. No, that's, that's taking me to my Microsoft account settings. No, no. There is no option here to remove that watermark. So it looks like I'm stuck with it. So here, obviously, I'm paying for the pro version. Even on the free version, I actually don't see any um, watermarks with the Canva thing. But of course, Microsoft it says it's still in beta. So I guess we are going to stick with Creative with Designer. And what I'll do is I'll do one thing. I'll go back to the Canva, and I'll just add a simple is there an option to add made with Canva or something here? Let's see. Mm, no, no, I'm just gonna have to put it myself. So let me do one thing here. So I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna say XOXO, be brave, feel good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna say made with Canva. So I'm gonna make that there like that and let me reduce the font to something manageable. Okay, oh, there we go. 
So let's get that here. So I'm gonna edit this like this. I'm still very new, uh, you know, I mean, after all, I'm just a, a novice social media user. So I'm gonna just put that there. I'm gonna turn this into black color. Oh, no, 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 no. no how do I change this color? I don't, you know, this is the thing, you know, like I'm still so new to this. So I'm trying to change the color of this thing, but it won't change. I don't understand what they're talking about. Yeah, I'm not able to make it black. See, the another thing which I don't understand about these design programs, you know, you think it's so easy, right? You, you think you should be able to just select it and then you can make it black, but that's not how it works. You know, it's not really how it works because like I'm trying to make it black. I've selected black. I even select something like red or something, and then it's still not red. I don't get it. See, this, this is the, these are the parts where I get confused, you know, these things, I don't get it. So let me try something else. Um, I'm just gonna say add a subheading, there we go. Made with Canva, okay, this is easier for me. I don't know how, what happened with that. So I'm gonna just say made with Canva here in a slightly smaller size. Uh, just to illustrate my point that these two things were made with Canva and uh, there we go. Okay, all right, so now what I'll do is, let me open it again, so let's, this one, let's close it. So let me delete the old one, right? Okay, so I'm gonna open this with photos put it on the right side, this on the left side. So there we go. So now we have two creations. Uh, now we have two creations, one on the left side, obviously you can see from the watermark is made with designer. Uh, most of the stuff was done by AI, whereas the one on the right side, I was able to use a template. Both of them give me similar results. In both cases, I'm not able to get a Indian specific version. Like uh, for example, in the AI, I did try Indian students or Indian people, but nothing was added. And with Canva, when I selected the India option, all I got was festival stuff and, and things like that. I didn't get anything related to students in the India version as well. So there we go, uh, folks. That is the um, you know Microsoft designer with AI. I think the AI is mostly kind of like a replacement for templates. I didn't see anything magical happening, uh, but uh, you know, the Microsoft thing, I, I, this lady looks Asian. I don't think she's an Indian person, but she looks Asian, so that, that was a good thing. And it, it, it created stuff, you know, I think essentially the AI is like helping me uh, pick templates. I don't know if AI is actually arranging these things. Now that I, I'll find out, I'll use, now that I know, that Microsoft Designer is essentially a replacement or an alternative for Canva. Uh, and I use Canva on a regular basis. I'll start using the designer as well. However, the watermark is a problem. <laughs> and until Microsoft gives me an option to remove the designer, I don't think I can use it commercially. I, can, I, don't, I can't use it in my posts. I can't use it anywhere online and stuff like that. I mean, I'm okay, like when I use AI images, for example, in my blog post, or if I go to my GitHub account right now, I have an open source project uh, that I'm doing right now. So if I go to my organizations, I go here, I have a open source GitHub organization where I put some projects and invite students to work with me. Uh, you know, I don't mind the tiny Bing image creator logo on the bottom left corner. That's okay, you know, that's okay. You know, it's, it's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, however, for a design where, where it's all about marketing and stuff, I would like to put my own branding rather than Microsoft's branding. You know, I don't want everywhere to show up like made with Canva or something like that, but we will see, we will see. Okay, so that's all there is to it, folks. That is the Microsoft designer. I, I, I think it's cool, it's not bad. I mean, they also have templates here and stuff like that. And you know, I can, I can, I mean, the AI, AI will try to do stuff for me, I guess, right? Uh, and you know, so it looks okay. It looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see. Um, uh, well, you know, once they give me the option to remove the 
watermark. I'm going to wait and see when it becomes part of, I guess I already have the Office 365 subscription, so I guess this will be included in that. So we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes, and that's, that's the end of the video. Thank you.